Check this out, here I am removing all the silent parts using the Vinci Resolve new silence remover. But now I also want to remove all the silence part from the video as well. So I'm going to press this secret shortcut key and it would start cutting all the video clips according to the audio clips. Let me show you how you can do it as well. So first I have this audio clip from my previous tutorial. So I have to select this audio clip and then remove silence. Okay, so I got this error because I haven't selected the clip. So you can just use this range mode tool and then click on this clip. It will select it and now you can go silence remover and alternatively what you can do is make an in and out point so make i so click on i and o then it will select this area and now if you right click and remove silence you get the same option so i'm going to select this clip and then remove silence and everything looks good so remove silent it will remove them so go back to the edit page now you see it didn't remove from the videos then you would need to download auto hotkey version 2.0 from their website and once you install it you can download this auto hotkey script from my patreon now before you run it just right click and edit it because we have to make some changes so how this basically works is first goes to the next clip by using the arrow keys then make a cut and then it goes to the next clip and then make a trim then again it goes to the next clip make a cut and then again goes to the second clip and then make a trim so this is how it works so you have to set the keyboard bindings so according to your keyboard shortcuts to split clips the default shortcut is control backslash but you have to change it to a one character because I notice uh, if you have multiple string like control shift sometimes it causes some problems in my case I have s for the split key so on the script split key just type s in this column then then to move to the next clip it probably is down key just type down and to trim a key to backward in resize I'm going to use start to play head which is in my case is w again make sure it's a single key shortcut w and so the default trigger key is ctrl shift alt k you can uh, try changing the control is this symbol and the shift is plus symbol and then alt is this symbol and then type a letter so if you want it to control m or something you can just change according this symbol and it will change the trigger key then you can save it and again rerun it and if you get this type of pop-up just hit yes and now if you go back to your your clip first you have to trim the starting part so just trim this part now we uh, now we are going to run the script so make sure you are at the beginning and you can resize this audio clip to see how many audio clips are there so there are 14 so we need to run it around 30 times hit the keyboard shortcut Control shift alt k and you will get this pop-up that how many times do you want to run this loop and if you want to run this forever you can type zero it will just loop to infinity and to stop you just hold the escape key but in this case because we know there are 14 clips so we are going to type 13 one less and hit ok and it will start trimming. So you see that's why we uh, hit 13 because there are 14 clips. So yeah, it did a pretty good job. Now you can just cut this end part and you're done. Now there's another problem. If you go to edit and then delete gap, then you will notice that it has left some bl blank spaces. It's because the audio clips wasn't precise and that's the reason of this gap. So to solve it, it's pretty simple. Let me undo everything. You just go at the beginning and run the script again. Now once it's done, you will notice that it didn't left any gap because it also trimmed that gap. Let me show you this with the loop. Let me just undo everything. And now let me show you and you can use the loop, which is zero. Just hit the zero. And if you press OK, it will uh, continuously just keep going. And if you want to stop any point, uh, just hold the escape key and it will just stop. And you see, uh, there's a mistake. And I'm really glad that it did that mistake because I want to show you something. So sometimes it just cut away some parts to get it back. Then hit the keyboard shortcut for match frame, which is by default is F. Make sure you play ahead of that clip and then just then hit the keyboard shortcut and it will find that exact clip. But you notice this is, let me add the normalizer. So you notice this is the same clip. So let me just undo 
and delete it and once again and this time i'm going to just take the video and place it right above it so yeah if it does some mistake like that you can resolve it like this i hope blackmagic adds the feature to cut the video clips right in resolve that would be very helpful and yeah see you in the next video